this woman, she was actually married. She had married young and and her husband was a great guy. Well, ex-husband. He was a great guy. They had kids. Um, he was good to her, treated her well. And she also does not regret leaving leaving him. Okay. Let's play let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip. This is very interesting stuff. For 10 years, I got married young. I was 21, barely, like three days, 21. I already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. I remember feeling marriage was temporary from the beginning, like that I wasn't going to make it. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was cold feet, but it kind of manifested itself for the next 10 years. We are going through a divorce. He didn't really start this process. I guess it was it was more so because I was always looking for someone else because I didn't know how to be loved or how to accept love. And so while he was fighting for me, I was pushing him away. I left the good guy. I left the guy that everybody looks at and is like, that's a dad, that's a husband, that's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes, he cleaned the house, he took the kids to school, he worked all day, he made good money, he supported us. Um, I mean, yeah, we had our problems, but he was the good guy. So I'm here to tell you, Bruh. it's okay to leave the good guy. <laughs> All right. Um, so let me ask the girls this. What, uh, the fuck? what do you think the future holds for this girl? We can start. Uh, who wants to go first? We can start with you. What do you think the future holds for her? I don't know. She made the right decision. She she chose herself. Okay. So you agree with her? You think she made the right choice? Yeah. Okay. Is she because be if she because. You're you were burned by yourself and you're going to die alone. Wait, what? <laughs> like, wait, wait, okay, wait. like you came to this earth by yourself. Okay. And you're going to leave the, this earth by yourself. Have you point. ever had a dream? So what do you think what what's gonna happen in her future then? You think she made the right choice? What's what what's what's gonna happen? Nothing. She'll just pursue her dreams or make it by her own or probably find a better match for her. Whatever. But you don't you don't have to depend on someone to be someone. Interesting. What? All Hold right. on. You made a good have point. Have you ever had a dream? Thank You're going to you. die alone. Finally. But before you die, I'm sure you want to have fun with somebody, right? Exactly. Huh? I'm sure you want to enjoy life with somebody before you die, right? Depends if the future provides me a man that uh, uh, I don't know. But she left her man. If... But I'm not like you know expecting that. All right. But like, she, no, no. But she had the man. She left him. Just because. Yeah. I also had the man and I left him. Yeah. Stupid. Well, why I'm stupid? Stupid. Why I'm stupid? I'm making my money. Yeah, because now I you're live single by myself. At Thirty and and now you're no, like you know. I'm single, but uh -huh. not alone. Okay. So you, <laughs> so you have dick. Yeah. Of course. Well, sometimes. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. we, I also have toys. You know? and, and cats and dogs? You what? Yeah, I have my baby Chewy. Her name is Chanel. Oh, okay, shout out Chewy. This is sad, man. Okay, let's move Why on. Why is sad? Because it, it is sad. So, no, it, it's not sad for you having to have someone for you to be happy. Isn't that sadder? Like, you know? I don't know. That's my point of view. You can be right in your life, but Here. I'm right in my life. What the fuck? All right, what about you? Uh, what do you I'm think? I'm happy. You all right, that's fine. Uh, for you, do you think that she made? Uh, what do you think? Oh, uh, her future holds. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not paying attention to that video, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was so real. I was trying. I'm being so real. <laughs> she had a lot going on. I can answer. Right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm being. I live. I zoned out because I was. She was doing too much. I'm sorry. At least she doesn't sound stupid, you know? She's being honest. I'm being so honest. Yeah. I really zoned out when she was talking. She had no interest for me to listen, so I didn't listen. Sorry. Next. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm with my stepdaughter now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm being honest. You listen to what she said? Yeah, I did. The whole The whole video. I heard the last one. She said someone did the dishes. I don't. <laughs> she said she had. She a, was married she, at twenty one three days. That's so all I heard. Didn't she hear, had. She had a newborn. Heard points and points. Yeah, I she had a, a newborn with her husband. Her husband. She had a good it. man. She yeah, thought she was, it was feeling, that man, but she feels like she made the right decision by leaving him. Well, oh, she, so she, 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 was knew, young she knew when, when she, she got met married. him. She knew when she oh, got so he didn't do nothing wrong. 
Huh? She knew when she got married that this man was not going to be it for her, that it was going to end in divorce. But he didn't do nothing wrong. No. She oh, well, she dumb. The fuck? Bro, I said why you're single, man. Uh, who said I was single? You were single. <laughs> <laughs> Three nine. Uh, it's okay, though. Person, huh? Let's say it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Myron, up to you, man. He's so done with this panel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yo, it fucking amazes me, bro. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you learn something new every day. At least I was honest. Thank you. You're so nice. Listen, bro. That that I, nigga saved you because that's the special. I didn't care us. what she was saying. Y'all gonna be mad at me? Yes, because it's, it's a video for you to watch to I'm comment sorry. on. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Damn. No, Next no it's, time it's, it's, it's not damn. It's 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 a privilege to be on this platform. I'm sorry. And we told you to pay attention. Come on, like pay attention. All right. So this not is bad. the last chance you get. Right. Please pay attention. I'm paying attention. You sure? Got you. Because if not, I will kick you the fuck off myself. I said I'm sorry. All right. Yo, this shit crazy, bro. I'm not sure we came on your show and said, you know what? This shit's boring as fuck. I'm gonna zone I out. didn't say it was boring. I said first. You said of she all, was boring to listen to. I she didn't out. have my attention. So yes, I did zoom out. I said I'm sorry, but right. I still answered just, your just question. Just move on. It's fine. Thank you. All right, nigga. What about Yo, you? This shit crazy. <laughs> uh, I think she's gonna have a really rough road ahead of her if she thinks leaving a good situation and a marriage and a family, and she's gonna go out and find something better. It's, it's not gonna work for her. She's going all sad. Yeah, right. she's gonna realize after I don't know, however many dates she decides to go on, that she had a good situation, and she's gonna probably go back to him. Actually, she might go back. Actually, mm -hmm. sorry. Should he take Maybe. her back? Maybe. No. But he might. He might, but he shouldn't. Mm. All right. What about all you? Right. What about you? So she said she was in a relationship with him until 21, got married, had a kid with him. Um, we don't know their background on the story. Um, when I was in a relationship very young, it's 21. You just gave the background. Right. Okay. Let me finish talking, please. Y'all don't realize that with relationships like these, you guys end up in loops. And you guys end up in like a lifestyle where you guys just do the same shit every day. Right? Maybe something happened where the guy wasn't fulfilling her needs. And it's better for a child to see their parents healthily, to leave each other and be on their own and make their decisions as to a divorce where it's toxic, fighting, hitting, abusive, toxic relationships. Because that child will grow up looking at that relationship, wanting those relationships, you know. So maybe she made that decision for her child to make that leap into being herself as a woman to be a she explained the situation and said that it wasn't toxic and he did everything he was supposed to do yeah she maybe she just wasn't, maybe she just wasn't context, in love that, was, that, that wasn't there yeah, yeah she explained everything she literally her. explained everything and you said that she we don't just know wasn't the happy then she, she just wanted to leave right pretty much yeah yep. so why is that wrong the question is what what does her, do you think her future holds her future She's a very young woman who has a kid and a man who is very confident in himself and has a lot of going for him. He won't care. A real man, right? Mm -hmm. Not a real man. Certain men. Different men. Everyone has a different type. Everybody has their different opinions and everybody has different standards. A different man. Different man. Okay, got it. Let's say you raise your son, right? And uh, he became successful, became self-made millionaire, or maybe he became a doctor or a lawyer, mm -hmm. right? Making 300, 400K a, thousand, a year, right? Very successful. And he meets a woman that is... 28, 29 with kids from another man. Do you think that's a good investment on his end to take that woman seriously and marry her? That's his life and that's his decision. And no, uh, she's 30, by the way. I'm asking you. She's 30 now. Yeah. So she's 30 now. 30 she has kids time. from another man. Would you want your son to take that woman seriously? Or would you advise him, hey, you know what? Maybe it's better that you go and look for something else. Yeah. What would you tell him? Because my son. Yeah, your son. Come on, Diamond. Honestly, I would say, like, no kids. <laughs> Find a bitch who doesn't have kids. Oh, all right, cool. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Finally, you're being honest. Okay. Yeah, kids are fucking a drag, bro. It's a fucking tough world we're living. Yeah. Kids are a drag. Could you imagine taking care of kids that aren't yours? Yep. That's crazy. Fuck you, dad. You're not my dad. You're, you're my, my dad. mom. Fuck you. Yeah. 
Mm. That's why you're we stay away dad. from that so, shit. My mom, bitch, so you think she? Dad. So you think no. the future holds for her that she'll find a guy that will still take her seriously? You think, right? I think when her kid is out of her life, she'll find a man. Bro, she's four. How old will she be at that point? Though? She's gonna be old. 50. But some 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 guys don't even care. You realize that some guys don't even want children. That they want to find a woman that is already established and has family. That they don't have to provide that. That they can just provide the lifestyle. That they but will can they give that them? woman that serious relationship that she yearns for though? Mm -hmm. At that point, or will she just be a cougar on the roster? If they're lucky. There's very oh, few men, very rare men, that will step up to the plate to take care of another man's child. Certainly. Well, you just uh, removed the children. You said that she's 40 and the kids are <laughs> old and out the house now. So what I'm asking you now is, do you think that she's still going to get a serious relationship at 40 years old? It depends how well she takes care of herself and how well she goes out and determines to get a relationship, you know? Well, let me ask you this. If she was at one point more beautiful and younger and had more options... And couldn't find a guy. What makes you think she'll find that guy at forty? There's a lot of forty-year-old single men who are divorced now. Like I said, do you think they, they want, want a forty-year-old woman in return? No, they want fucking twenty-year-olds, fucking pedophiles. What do you mean? What about like you everyone know? wants a younger woman, I mean, but they can't legal. get younger women. Legal, Diamond. Do you prefer young, older well, men or younger men? Me? Yeah. I I like men my age, but obviously, you okay. Like let me okay. Let me be on. Let me retract. Let me retract. I like men my age, but if I'm being honest, I would like an older man to take care of me. Oh, so you contribute to the pedophilia now? Yeah, you do oh. actually. Oh, oh, oh. you're the problem. Oh, you're oh, you're oh, you're the okay, I'm not gonna lie. I got daddy issues. You triggered my trap card. Daddy issues. You're the issue. You're the issue. You're the issue, no. man. You're the problem. Uh, that's whatever. Fuck him, punch. You're the problem, bro. It's okay. Come home. Girls like to say, "Oh, guys are into pedophilia because they prefer younger women." No, like, no, 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 no. Okay, let me retract that. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying, like, obviously, men are gonna like younger women because, like, younger women they have a, you know, there's, you were you know, so fast to attack. Yeah, what men want pedophilia. When you is want a it, it's okay. Word, it's a very strong. How word. dare you? Okay, I would never date a young man though. Like someone that's, that's like point. younger than me, I would never. But like guy. men, men, it's different. It's yeah, older it's men. different. Oh. And, like for me, I'm not gonna date a younger guy who can't provide me shit you know what i mean oh. but like obviously you're gonna go for a man that can like <laughs> y'all sean kingston sing for me yo oh my god uh. <laughs> so, so you don't go see how your argument has holes in it it's no argument and, it's just and your opinion. point didn't make sense yeah, yeah well <laughs> she knows man I know. Incredible, bro. Yo, that's you know, bro. That's Yo, why I'm man. on this podcast. You'd wish I see with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why you're so single. <laughs> this is great, man. This is great. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. We're not, but we're okay. Dry, yeah. uh, what about you? Um, I think that she is going to have a rough life ahead of her. She keeps on putting the good guys to the side because there's a, it's a, there's not a lot of good guys out there. Give them a chance. Stay with them. You know. But yeah, that's really it. Not much. So All right. just have Next to question. live a long, boring life. Next question. Do you believe she's going to find the right guy in the future? Yes or no? Yes. No. She's looking for... Everyone can find their soulmate. Hold on, one at a time. No. No? No. Okay. There's Everyone a person can find a soulmate. No? Maybe that was her soulmate. No, that's Ooh. not usually no. true. Think about it. How many people are on this earth, bro? You're, you're really telling me that that one person is going to be your soulmate forever? Out of what? all the billion people on this earth, I think in this situation, I think she's definitely going to look back on it and be like, after going through a bunch of guys, especially leaving him at like 21 or 22, she said, I don't know. Um, she's gonna look back on and be like, wow, that guy, he was the one, but okay. just saying, He's you're 22, good. so you don't yeah. think you think she made a mistake and that she will not find it the right guy that she's looking for? Yes, all right, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, for her, yeah, oh, so I think that. Obviously, there's a person for everybody, even no matter how what age you are, what year it is. There's a billion people on this earth, and you're going to find somebody that you get along with, either who respects your decisions or does not. They're but do you think that she'll find the right guy that she's looking for? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I okay. mean, at the end of the day, like I said... 100%? Yeah, because you, do, you really, <laughs> do you really believe that when you marry a person, you're going to be with them for the rest of your fucking lives? Do you think you're going to be with your girl for the rest of your life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not the question. Like <laughs> men monogamy, don't, monogamy. Men, uh, she, men, okay, she's gonna find another person in her life. I, I think men that aren't she the will. Ones that break up relationships, man. <laughs> but they're the one that cause it. Wait, but Diamond, didn't you? In uh, this situation, you saw that the guy did everything that he was supposed to do, and even the girl admitted this. Yet she still left him. Maybe she wasn't happy. 
You guys don't realize that being Bro, in a loop is depriving was, and it drains you as a person and it makes you a whole and dark. Get married to somebody and that's then fine. commit to them. And so then she thinks, the yes, that's fine. What about you? Do you think that she's going to find the right guy she's uh, looking for? I think she's probably going to settle on a lot of things that she wants and she's going to end up just being with whatever guy will be with her because, okay. I mean... You have a kid and you're going to get older and you come with baggage and it's a lot, you know, Getting an older, experience. successful guy. Like they don't want all that. They don't need to get all that. So. All right. W Cougar. All right. What about you? What do you think? I think God brings everyone <laughs> for <laughs> So you think she'll find her guy too? Yes, right? That's I really funny. do. I think God brings everyone in people's God life did. for a reason. Yep. If okay. you make God bad did. choices, do you deserve to find... It's a Good it's a moment she had to learn. Karma? She had to learn, mm. and then say say me. I had to learn. Yep. I messed up with my good guy. I got married. I, there was a, I got fucked up afterwards, mm. and then now I got good situations after Wait, it. you're married good si situations yeah i got married at 18 that's why i had my out so i had a good guy and then i did but i wasn't <laughs> for baltimore anymore i had then someone just got me an out i got married and i got out so i left the good guy got out and now and you're with I, a guy right now that you don't even want to claim yep <laughs> shut the <laughs> <laughs> claiming him claiming you no, you're not. No, you're not the top yeah. of the show, you couldn't Terrible. even. Terrible. You, no, you, you couldn't even do it. Couldn't even do it. The poor guy out there, man. The and here's guy. the other thing too. Um, what I've noticed about women is when they're with a guy that they actually respect and admire, they can't wait to tell the world they're that they're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. that I have a man. I got a man. Nigga. Women, women love to flex the fact <laughs> that they have a man if they actually like him. Yep. When they don't like him or they don't respect him or something's going on, they tend to you know shy away from the question like you did earlier. So. There's something going on whether you don't respect him or you don't like him like that, maybe or he, he doesn't claim you. you, or maybe yeah. whatever it may be. But something's going on there. Is he black? I only date black guys. Oh. Uh, he has money? He has a good job. Did you say before that you don't have a type? I don't I got no, no type. At the top hey. of the show? Uh, I don't, but uh, I do but only date black all... guys. That by that's definition means you have a type. Yeah, that's type. type. Uh, I'm saying that's some people I talk to though. It's not my fault. Bro, you, you said earlier at the top of the show that you don't have a you type. Have a type though. Niggas is a type. When I was talking about, <laughs> when I was talking, remember how I? Because here's the thing, I've been writing this shit down of what you guys have been saying. I said earlier that women are quicker to dismiss men than men are to dismiss women, and you were like, "Not really. I'll give a guy a chance. I don't have a type. Yep. You quite literally have a type. Yep. Proves my point." I did say I have the type. Yeah. That's what I was saying earlier. What's your type? I, Isn't it incredible how everything comes full circle? You just listen to them a little bit more and yeah, they yeah. contradict I tried themselves. I giving a guy that wasn't when my type. You guys want to know the chance. truth? When yeah. did I've, I've, been, I've been really quiet on this for a while. The yeah, reason okay. why you guys contradict yourselves and say a bunch of stupid shit is because no one ever checks you on your stupidity. Bro, but even when you give a you chance. You guys have been saying moronic shit all night and I've just been sitting here listening to it and I'm like, God damn, you contradicted yourself again. Wow, that doesn't make sense. Oh, fantastic. Yep. And then and then uh, when girls say and do dumb shit, right? No one ever checks them on it. You guys do this dumb shit on small accomplishments, <laughs> right? <laughs> we praise women for mediocre accomplishments, but we don't tell them about their monumental failures. Mm -hmm. This bitch right here, the fact that you guys aren't all sitting here saying this bitch is fucking retarded, she's stupid as fuck, she had a perfect guy, now... All she's gonna be is a side chick for some other dude that mm -hmm. probably has a serious girl that he's gonna that, that he takes seriously that provides for etc. And this girl's probably never gonna find a guy like that again. It amazes me that you guys can't come to that conclusion. But it proves my point that women will sit there and make stupid excuses for their bad fucking decisions. The dumb bitch that was here earlier, the Dominican, she sat there and agreed with her. Yeah, no, it's not pornography. I agree. It's the different blah blah. Bitch just got on OnlyFans like a month ago. She don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> but women rarely hold each other accountable. And I don't want to use you as an example, but even you. You disagree with a bunch of girls on the panel, you just say stay quiet. I'm not gonna say nothing. Fuck it. We have to be the ones to be the bad guys to tell girls that they're delusional and they don't make sense, etc. Don't don't understand the difference between generalities and then your own personal anecdotal experience. It's crazy to me because we don't tell women the truth. This is one of the few podcasts where I will look you to your eye and say, you guys are fucking dumb sometimes, man. Holy shit. Like, you don't understand the difference between genera generally and then an anecdotal. You've been making a bunch of arguments that don't make sense at all. <laughs> you can't even pay attention to a 30-second video. Incredible. Incredible. The fact that y'all are able to vote still perplexes me. But again, it, uh, cool. it, but again. But <laughs> again. Yo, this shit is crazy to me. Dude. Okay, I, I disagree. What do you disagree with? That when they got married, when they got Yo, married, she put her hair down. they both made the wrong decision. When they had a kid, 
probably okay don't blame on the kid but they both made the the choice or probably not to have that kid so they both did the wrong decision no. the fact that she left him doesn't mean that she made the wrong decision no she left him yeah i know that's what i said yeah, the fact so that she left him doesn't make her be the but the, she said that she okay made the let wrong me choice. be very yeah but why here. did it get stop, married in stop, the first place stop stop a woman's best that's chance to get married and find the best guy is when she's young and attractive. At 21. Yes. That's at when she 18. has the most options. That's when she's the most attractive. That's when she's at her peak beauty. Did you live enough? Okay. What? Did you live enough like to As get married at that age? Oh. Do you okay. feel intel intelligent by getting married at, a, at that age? I think a woman that gets married young is the most intelligent woman because she Why? understands. You didn't even went to college. You don't have a business. You don't have Men nothing. Men don't care about that. Yeah, but because you want Hold a on, slave stop, next stop, to you. Stop for two seconds. Men don't care about your money, your status, or your education. Okay? So if men don't care about it, what do they care about? They care but about you being you think beautiful, her goal not being a whore. It's being attached to a man the rest of her life. Because most women derive their happiness from having a family and children and people that love mm. them, not a career and status. Not nowadays. And this has been well, proven. Well, you, 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 but probably not me. This, and this has been proven, okay, through studies that women, when they tend to focus on career and education, everything else like that, they tend to be less happy than a woman that has children and her family. It's true. Well, that's your option, your body, oh, no, your choice. Yeah. But Do you not me. wait? Can I ask her a question? Like, the, and there was actually, man, one of the girls that was on the panel, actually a successful girl too, sent me a study on this that literally was updated for 2024, and I got to pull it up. I wasn't ready to get married at 21. That's, and I, that's I, I got proposed okay. and I wasn't ready. Fantastic. But you do understand I as you get go older. I to travel, leave okay. before Bro. having kids. You do understand as you get older and you get more experience and you make more money and you become more successful, your chances of finding a guy go down. No, I still have guys. Even younger guys asking me for money. <clears throat> the hmm? Yeah. And, and you don't want them, right? No. Okay. Why have you don't do not want them? Because your standards have gone up, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. You do understand that as your standards go up, the men that qualify for these standards go down, right? And you, for example, you don't feel that I'll find a guy that will Holy match fuck. my standards. You for it's, real it's, feel it's that. It's numbers. If your standards and men are going up, that That's means that the there's less left, men available. The guy I left, he can pr probably still come back, but I won't be back to him. And he's older than me. He because has, like, you don't like him. Yeah, exactly. That's what he's saying. Yo. Stupid. I know. I, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I'm just saying. Stupid. It's just because like. You don't understand. The no I'm telling you. Because I become more independent because I like grow you and I like him. make mistakes you and I learn from the them and I just keep growing. Why do you think I won't find a guy? Bruh. This is sad, bro. No, Holy he's saying why it's okay. sad. Let me, you know what? Let me, let me be that very. Let me by be himself. By bro. himself, you want that next to you. You want someone that will stay quiet and that don't uh, express an opinion because <laughs> every opinion she's she Where like is says, this from? It, everything will be serious, wrong. Bro. But he's not saying that for you that you're not going to. Well, find, no one's saying that you're not going to find opinion. a guy. He's just like a follower. I'm he's not. just no, no. He's not saying that you're not going to find a guy. It's just he's saying that the more status you get, the more success you get as a woman. You're your like circle of fighting guys it's gonna be super small like one percent like you're not gonna find and why would i i won't find that person if you it's will my but person. it's gonna be rare and i hope yeah, you keep him rare. when you do yeah of course yeah they're not saying that you won't find a guy at all and plus they're talking about the general generality yeah. of everything not just yeah, your personal general, experience I feel like my person is out there and i will still growing where out there somewhere in, i haven't met him there yet on earth uh, yeah, of course. Or probably we're expanding. Who knows? Let me ask you a question. If I was homeless mm -hmm. and I was asking for people, people for money and sandwiches sitting in front of a 7-Eleven. Okay. But I said, sat there and I said, you know what? I'm going to get a fucking IG model bad bitch. You, you got it. crazy. Right? Would you call me delusional for that? Yes. No, I'd call you determined. <laughs> no, no, no. But would it, wouldn't it be fairly delusional to have that belief system that I deserve a bad bitch and she's out there for me even though I'm in front of 7-Eleven and I'm a homeless guy? If you're broke, it's because you made the choice to be broke. No, but, okay. What the what? <laughs> Please answer the question. Am I delusional for thinking that I deserve an Instagram hot girl? Yeah, because you're broke. Okay. Would it be you fair to say that you, I don't qualify? You made the choice to be in that cool. position. Cool. Cool. Would it, so I don't qualify, right? No, of course not. Okay. What if I told you you made the choice to put career and money and your status first 
So you don't qualify for a bunch of the men that you think you deserve. I don't feel like anyone... Stop the show real quick. Pay attention, okay? <laughs> you think I'm delusional for wanting an Instagram bad bitch while being homeless. Yeah. I agree with you. I am delusional. I don't qualify. I'm telling you, the man that you want, he wants something back in return. And trust me, it's not a strong, independent woman like yourself that's about to be pushing 30. They want a younger, more attractive, fertile girl that's not going to argue with them. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. That's how that successful men obey. want. Yes, and you even know it. Deep down, you know <laughs> it. And you don't have these traits. You don't qualify for the man that you want. But why, why is it that I can't tell you that you're delusional, but you can tell me that I'm delusional? I'm not telling you you're delusional. You're pretty intelligent. No, 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 no. I'm talking about with the subway example. Uh -huh, I am yeah. delusional. It's it's delusional, yeah, because you know. Yes, I don't qualify. Yeah, but why? And I'm telling you it, that you don't qualify. Why it makes it impossible to actually find that person? Why? Hmm? Because you've outpriced yourself. Mm. Mm, I don't feel better than anyone. Well, from the man's standpoint, you're not his typical choice. Mm -hmm. So money, success, and becoming a better person, and independent is great, but he doesn't really care. Wow. Yeah, so if he doesn't care, it's because he's not the person for me. And I'll keep, like, looking. It's law of average. Look it up. No, Damn. Love. Yo, uh, see, that's what I mean when I say, like, like women can kind of just live in a, in a fucking fairy tale and just, like, think, it's out why? there, law of average, I, energy, blah, blah, blah. If I no. stay by myself, I you stay by myself. You don't qualify why? for the man that you think you deserve. Why can't y'all get that through your fucking heads? It's through the my head. The guy that you, you think you deserve okay. doesn't want you fucking back. Period. If you would have had, if you did deserve him, he would have been here by Everyone now. Everyone pursue happiness, I feel. <laughs> right? Like. Much. Right? So you'd rather spend the rest of your life with someone you don't love and actually doesn't make you happy than having, like, you know, like being by yourself. And actually, you're by yourself. You're more happier than being with someone. Cool. Then be by yourself. But yeah. don't expect the guy to come alone. in and rescue you, <laughs> right? Don't expect the guy that has some status and money to come in and take you seriously and rescue you, right? When he doesn't need to. He's just going to put you in the sex-only category and never take you seriously. Mm -hmm. It just amazes me how girls think like, oh, there's a guy out there for me. The grass is always green on the other side. No, it's fucking not. You miss opportunities. You might have a guy that was good. You left him. Now, your dumb ass is going to stay single. You, you got kids, so you lower your chances even more. We need to have these hard talks with women that your decisions definitely have consequence. And a lot of you bitches are stupid as fuck. You leave guys that are good, that you should have left in the first place, would have treated you good, given you a good lifestyle. He did everything that he was supposed to do, but you think, you know what? He's not exciting enough. You know what? He doesn't give me that tingle. You know what? It's monotonous because we do the same thing every time. Okay, and you get that stupid excuse of a loop. What like, did yo, I lose? It's crazy to I'm me alive how women don't understand that you're given certain opportunities and you piss, out, piss away those opportunities. Guess what? It probably won't come back again. And then you got to make your bed and sleep in it and stay single with your fucking cats. It is what it is. Die. Because I'll tell you this. I'm not fucking coming around as a successful multimillionaire and saving you hoes. I'm not. And trust me, every single guy that makes money that has some status, we're not saving you bitches no more. I'm trying to tell y'all this, I'm, and this is the these are the cold heart conversations that men don't tell women. Yo, if you leave a good guy, I'm not gonna come in to fix the fucking pieces. Mm -hmm. Stay with that good guy. Maybe he's not that attractive, but he treats you well. Maybe he doesn't make enough money, but he treats you well. Like, stick with that guy. You think you're gonna get somebody like me that's gonna take you seriously? Fuck no. You can always get money. That won't save you. Um, I'm just saying, no, I'm saying in a relationship, y'all can build to get money. Like, don't just try to go to someone that has more money. You and that person can build. Yeah, build? No, you're hoping yeah. that you build. No, you're girls hoping. leave for a bunch of dumb reasons. Yeah. The guy was boring. He's not exciting enough. I'm on a loop. Like, she gave that excuse. So, like, did I you don't know my story. Don't go there. Yeah. Okay, because I was abused and I was in a Here loop. We go. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all want to play the sad story, we but abusive fucking relationships. We never we brought, brought that up. up. Because because you kept you used the excuse of they're on a loop. That's being, not cool. But like abuse is not cool. Being in an excuse cool, yeah. isn't a loop is what I mean. What like waking up every day doing the same shit with the same person when you're unhappy and depressed. Like why would you keep yourself in that right. situation? You, you weren't specific whatsoever. Yeah, when you, you said weren't. loop. You use it under the you use it under the guise of like monotony and boringness, yeah. which is what a lot of girls know. actually leave guys for. Yeah, I didn't leave a guy for boringness. So I've never done that. No, you. Okay, but you yeah, use the term loop in a way that you phrased it. 
was imply monotony and boringness. Yeah. Which is a big reason why a lot of girls leave guys, actually. Yeah. For them being boring. And I'm saying the boring guy will give you a good lifestyle a lot of times and treat you well and treat you like a queen. But women don't like that shit. They want a guy who's an asshole that's going to dog them out, that's going to talk to them like shit and all this other stuff. And that's fine. But yo, you want to pick the asshole? That's fine. Just understand that you're going to have a shittier life and you're going to perpetually stay single a lot of times. Yep. That's true, though. But what did I lose? What? <laughs> I just know you. You, I don't know, you know if what? you understand me. Probably we speak no. the different uh, language, and, and I'm not, you know, transmitting the right way. You know, fresh, but why did happy, I lose? No, no. By, once you're happy, you know, that's all that matters. By like making the decision, but just leaving someone and not hurt them. Here's the thing. Like, what did I lose? You're what? You're what did 30 I lose years old right now, right? Choosing yeah, my, my my my. You're 30 years old right now. Yeah, of course. I promise you. In 10 years, you're going to think twice about all the relationships that you had, all Five the years. men that you were with and you're going to realize damn i cannot even have kids why what would i fuck? regret anything what the fuck did i do <laughs> you can't have kids no cancer told you oh, okay well well therapy most girls Again. well that sucks no but, that um, doesn't mean that she, she's still well, gonna want a guy yeah well women always still want a guy women I don't want to be alone like and here's the other thing too like girls sit there they'll single, say they'll alone. say shit like this single but never alone that's cope bro that's <laughs> cope that's cope i look at it like this if a girl's of a certain age and she's single something's wrong with you you fucked up Something's wrong. How? Like, <laughs> something's wrong. I don't want to sound like an asshole for any of you guys that are older or whatever. Maybe you made mistakes in the past. Maybe you had the right guy and you fucking left him or some shit. Or maybe you were in a long-term marriage and you fucked that up. But if I see a girl that's older, that's single, yeah. something is wrong, bro. Something is wrong. Especially when I know how easy guys are, how many nice guys out there that would love to fucking mm-hmm. you know, date a girl or take her seriously or give a relationship. Mm-hmm. Something is off. But it comes to two things. What I've realized is that women have higher standards than what they provide. They want a guy that's all the way up here, but they're fucking average. And they think they deserve a guy that's all the way up here. A lot of you girls aren't average yourselves, but you want a man that's above average. It's crazy. Misogyny. Standards are too what's high. What's average for you? What do you, what do you mean by On average? No, I'm just asking. Oh, sorry, in man. general. By, by, what do you what's mean by average? women? Like the chick in the photo, video just now, she's mm-hmm. fucking average. Yes, hell. Is. Okay, so you're based on the how she looks or... That's how men judge are. women. Okay. Ta-da. It's not on your career and your independence that you keep flexing. Yep. We don't give a fuck about that at all. And the more money a man makes, the less we care about your money. But I would mm-hmm. argue with her her handicaps and then not being able to have kids, that's even worse. Yeah. And uh, your money Matter is your of fact, money. You know what? I make money to tell girls to shut up. Yep. To be honest with y'all, I make money so that girls don't talk back to me because it's annoying shut as up, fuck. Because you got to have frame. And this is what women want. Y'all want a guy that can look you dead in the eye and say, shut the fuck up. I don't care what you think. Like and honest. that's what women want because that shows what assert assertiveness dominance and what that shows leverage that's what women want they want a guy that can put them in their place and the only way they can put a woman in her place you got to be better than her in every regard make more money be stronger more competent more intelligent more successful everything that's the only thing that women respect is a man that's superior to men every way and lets them know that they're superior in every single way i'm not equal to none of you chicks i don't treat women as equals because they don't know how to respect that when you treat a woman as equal she talks back to you nigga this blah, 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 blah. Nah, fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I don't treat women as equals because I look at you guys as inferiors. And that's what you guys want. You want a man that looks at you Misogyny. as an inferior. What do you think about that? <laughs> Misogyny. No, I mean, I agree with them. Oh, shit. I think women... <laughs> I mean, Damn, I, diamond, I, relax. I, I do have a lot of shit to I know it sounds right fucked up, but... No, I just, I do think that women want somebody... They do want a guy that's going to tell them to shut the fuck up because sometimes a lot of women do need to shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Okay. Are you in favor to him? Uh, Yeah, he's doing a, a lot better things in life than I am. Okay, so, W. All right. right. I, I get it. I see it. I'm not in denial. So. All right. Yo, listen, real quick. So to prove this, I'm bringing this all home. And that, I just want to make this clear. Finish, that yeah. doesn't mean... That I have more like human value than you. Yeah. Actually, I think women need to be protected and provided for. I genuinely do believe that men need to be the breadwinners. I don't think women should work. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think they should vote either, but that's all of the conversation. I'm all the way with it. I look at men as protectors and providers, and I do genuinely think that women should be at home and raising the children and doing what they do best. But with that, right, I'm a big proponent of if I have the authority over you, right, and I'm or sorry, if I have the responsibility over you to protect for you, provide for you, whatever, then that comes with some goddamn authority. And that authority comes a lot of times with me telling you, no, you will not do that. No, that's not how this goes. Shut up or whatever it may be, because girls be tripping, bro. Yeah, Let's keep facts. it a thousand. Yeah, facts. Like every time I see a guy in a mall getting yelled at by his girl or slapped, there's some that's shit. Crazy. A part of me dies because I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Hold You're supposed backs. to be the leader. 
What's wrong with you? Now, of course, never raise your hand up at a woman and attack her, but she needs to know, yo, if you display XYZ behavior, you're fucking